If you want to evaluate your retrieval augmented generation pipeline using open source large language model, this video is for you. In the recent days, there has been a huge demand in implementing a rack pipeline that can help you connect your custom data source to a large language model. This is where evaluating your entire rack pipeline is a very crucial task. This is where there are lots of libraries available out there, which are open source. But the catch here is most of them are dependent on OpenAI, that is GPT-3 based model, which are closed source. And not many of them have the access for it. And even if they have access, they are like, they don't want to use it since it is closed source. This is where in this video, I'll introduce you to a library called Beyond LLM that can help you build advanced RAG pipeline and also evaluate your LLM and RAG pipeline with just five to eight lines of code. So without further ado, let's start with this video. And before we can begin, there are a few libraries that you are supposed to install. Uh, since this is completely focused on open source large language model, we need to install the library like Hugging Face Up and also fast embedding so that we are completely loading our model locally. And then we have the library called Beyond LLM that can help us to build the entire RAG pipeline. And the model that we will be using is Mistral 7 billion instruct based model. So let's start with the code. So we'll, once you have uh, done the installation of Beyond LLM, let's import few statement from Beyond LLM dot source import fit. So what fit function does is it helps you get the data, load the data, and then do the chunking. So usually in the typical rack pipeline, I've already shared seven videos on how we can build rack using uh, Langchain and open source large language model. So the thing is, once you get your data, you need to load it and then create a smaller segment of it so that you're not touching the context length limit of your large language model. So this is where chunking is very important. And what Beyond LLM does is it provides advanced chunking strategy within its library itself. So once you load and chunk your data, the next thing is you need your embedding model. So in this case, we'll be using fast embeddings and then we need the retriever. So retriever is the first major component in drag that helps us to store the embeddings and then Based on the user query, you're retrieving the relevant documents. So from beyond LLM dot retrieve import auto retriever. So one better thing about beyond LLM is it also helps you to do advanced rack where you can use technique like cross uh, encoders for re-ranking and also flag embeddings for re-ranking. It also supports hybrid search. And uh, if you don't know what hybrid search is or what re-ranking is, we already have dedicated videos on it. So you can probably check out the description so that you get the detailed overview of what re-ranking is and what hybrid search is about. Next, we have from beyond LLM dot LLMs import hugging face hub model and lastly from beyond llm dot generator import generate so these are just the import statement now comes the actual five to eight lines of code so the first thing is we get our data in our case the data is a pdf uh, just to give you an update i'm also part of google summer of code 2024 at an organization called redden labs and uh, I have also shared a video on how you need to create your proposal. So this is the proposal that I created for Redden Lab and I got shortlisted. So I'll use the same proposal and I will load it. So data equals to fit. I'll pass the path. So the path is red and lab gsoc tarun dot pdf. And then I need to define D type. D type in this case is PDF. If your data is a URL, then you just have to add the URL and then define D type to be URL. If it is a CSV file, you need to pass the path of your CSV file and your D type will be CSV. And the additional parameter here is chunking. So by default, chunk size is uh, 512 and chunk overlap is zero. If you want to override it, then you can do it. In our case, I'll just use the defaults one. And next, I need to use the embedded model. 
So embedded model in our case is fast embeddings. What it will do is it will load the embedding model locally and it is very fast and internally it is using Onyx model and fast embeddings was developed by Qdron team. And this is really one of the most favorite embedding model of mine when it comes to using open source models. So once you have your embedding model, the next step is you need to create a auto retriever. You need to pass your data into embeddings and store that in a vector database. In our case, we will be using in-memory context so that it will store our embeddings and help us for retriever. So I'll just write retriever equals to auto retriever and I will pass the data, data equals to data. And then I need to pass the embedding model, embed model equals to embed model. And then I need to define the type. So type can be anything. Uh, we have four different type. One is normal. One more is cross encoder for re-ranking, then flag re-ranker, and then hybrid. So here I'll use normal. Uh, in the later upcoming videos, uh, probably you can also check out the documentation. Uh, I've written a very clean documentation and also to give you more context, Beyond LLM is a library that I'm one of the main contributor to. Uh, and now you also need to define top K to be four. So what top K means is how many relevant documents do you want to extract? So since the document is very small, I'll keep top K to be three. And then you need to define your LLM. And in our case, the LLM is again pay sub model and you need to define your model. Uh, the model is Mistral EI. Mistral 7B instruct. I already copied it earlier and I pasted it. And here, one more key parameter is to add your Agging Face access token. So let me quickly add the Agging Face access token. So let me add the environment variable. So you can hover on this hugging face sub model and then you can see the documentation of it. So as you can see, os.environment, you need to write as it is, which is hugging face access token. Let me copy this, add it here. And I'll also use from get pass, import get pass so that I don't have to reveal my API key and I'll just directly use get pass and I'll write enter your HF API token. That's it. And once you have your LLM model, the next thing is you need to pass it to the generate model. So I'll just write pipeline. Pipeline equals to generate. You need to define the user query. Uh, that is question. In our case, the question will be what models as Tarun fine tuned. And then I'll pass the LLM, which is again face LLM. So let me zoom my screen a bit. So as you can see in the generate model, you're passing the question that is what models as Tarun fine tuned. And then I'm passing the LLM and also I need to define the retriever. Retriever equals to retriever. Cool. So now that we have the five lines of code, first thing is we are adding our data using fit function. Second, we are declaring our embedding model. Third, we are defining auto retriever with the type to be normal. Fourth, we are defining our open source model with using again face that is Mistral 7B instruct. Fifth, we are running the pipeline by adding the user question, LLM and retriever. So these are the five lines of code. And next thing is you just have to run the pipeline. Print pipeline dot call. So what call will do is it will return the AI response. It will return the AI response. So now comes the evaluation part. So there are different ways you can evaluate your uh, rack pipeline. The first one is context relevancy. The second one is answer relevancy. Third one is groundedness. And fourth one is get ground truth. So what we will do in our case is we will run a rack triad. 
So RAC triad evals includes context relevancy, answer relevancy, and groundedness. So what I'll do is I'll just run print pipeline dot get rack triad evals. So what get rack triad evals will do is it will return three evaluation metric. One is context relevancy, one more is answer relevancy, and third is groundedness. So this is inspired by TrueLens. Uh, they have used this metric in their own library as well. And we have implemented kind of similar thing in our library as well. So this is it from uh, this video. Probably let's run out, uh, run this uh, code and check out the results. I'll just run Python app.py. So first it will ask me for my API token. So let me get back to my again face uh, dashboard and get the API key. All right, so I've copied my API key. I'll paste it here. And once I paste it, as you can see, it is fetching five files. So this is what embedding model is doing. And next, if you see the answer, it is telling Tarun has fine-tuned several model, including FE13B and Panda Coder 13B. FE13B is a reasoning LLM model available in two variants, 7B and 13B. This is correct, which outperforms Falcon 7B, Llama 7B, and MPT 7B on a game face leaderboard. Panda Coder 13B is a state of art. Uh, this is exactly correct. Probably you can also check out uh, my Hugging Face profile so that you can check out all these models. And also, if you see, it is also executing Rack Triad evaluation. And here we have three different uh, metrics. One is context relevancy. The second one is answer relevancy. And third one is groundedness. So what context relevancy will do is whatever context is retrieved from retriever, it will check your response and compare it with your uh, context, which is retrieved. So it is giving 6.0 because there might be also chances where one of the retriever is not making sense. And one thing that we need to focus is each evaluation depends on what kind of use case you are running. So in there might be chances that when you ask a query, you are getting the answer. You just need answer relevancy. You don't need context relevancy. So in our case, the most required metric is answer relevancy. Why? Because we are just comparing our answer with the question. So when it comes to comparing your question and answer, this is where answer relevancy is used. Now what groundedness will do is it will create a single tokens of all your context and question and then compare with the AI generated response. So these are the few evaluation metrics that we have implemented. And probably you can uh, experiment with different LLM. You can experiment with different models that are available uh, on Hugging Face. So one thing is uh, when you're using open source model, there might be uh, inconsistency, but this is where most of the libraries which are available online, they're dependent on OpenAI. Why? Because the response quality is really high when it comes to OpenAI uh, or GPT based model. But Mistral is on par and it matches the response as, as per GPT-3. And that's where you can use Mistral for evaluating your RAG pipeline. And this is really great model. Uh, I've used a lot. And if you have seen my previous videos on RAG, I've used Zephyr. So Zephyr typically is fine-tuned on Mistral. So probably it's a superior version of uh, the models that we are using. So probably this is it from the video. Uh, if you have any questions, probably you can join our Discord channel. Until then, thank you and subscribe to the channel. Subscribe now.